Trump's meeting with the Ukrainian president was low-key, but noted for taking place before a U.S. summit with Russia. We've uh, had some very, very good discussions. It's going to continue throughout the day, and I think a lot of progress has been made, and it's a great honor to have you, Mr. President. Thank you. Poroshenko praised U.S. support and pledged to fight for reform and democracy in his country. We really fighting to bring freedom and democracy and with a very strong support in the security and defense sector, support of our reforms, support of my 45 million nation, of the country who is the biggest in the European continent. And uh, I'm absolutely confident that Ukraine is a story of success. Poroshenko's visit comes as the U.S. Treasury Department announced it is extending sanctions to 38 individuals and entities involved in the conflict in eastern Ukraine, where Moscow supports pro-Russian separatists. Until they are out of eastern Ukraine, um, we, we're going to continue to have sanctions on Russia, and we believe that that is, uh, that is Ukraine's you, a part of Ukraine, and so therefore, uh, until those those sanctions will remain, it was something that obviously came up to discussion with the president today. Um, we'll continue to advocate for that. Ukraine has had a host of political and economic problems since its independence from the Soviet Union. Widespread corruption among top officials is a major one. Anti-graft advocates have accused Poroshenko, one of Ukraine's wealthiest businessmen, of doing too little to push the necessary reforms. I really hope that our political establishment understands that if they do not show the results now, then people's shock caused by wardrobes of cash, churches possessed by lawmakers, and everything else may lead to very bad social and economic consequences. Some analysts warn that the consequences may include renewed massive protests in Kyiv's Maidan Square, like the ones that led to the ousting of Poroshenko's predecessor, Viktor Yanukovych, in 2014. Slatica Hope, VOA News, Washington.